YouTube, we back. I know it's been a while. I ain't put out no video, man. Corona is kicking our butts out here. We got the kids not going to school. They e-learning and what have you. Stuck at home when I'm not at work helping them getting things in order. You feel me? But we back. Nonetheless, we back. We finna get into a simple brush session. I'm a, I'm a maybe 10, 15 minute brush session of all my angles, crown work, left side, right side, top side. I'm gonna talk to y'all while I do this. I wanna talk about the wave game. I wanna talk about how people are active, how people not active, how people was haters. You know what I'm saying? Different B.O.B.s and stuff. We're going to get into a little talk session slash brush session. If you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into this intro. That's the unrag, man. It ain't nothing fancy. It's looking halfway decent, but I've seen better. So we still working, man. Hey, what we going to do, this is a gem that I like to do on my hair. All right, you can try it on yours. I'm not sure it's going to work for you, but it definitely works for my hair. Cut down, not too low, but I think I cut down to like a four and a half against the grain, which is like a two and a half with the grain or however you do the... Uh, the, the swaps for the against the grain and with the grain, all right? But I tell you, I use a hard brush, a, a firm, medium, you know what I'm saying? I want a, a brush that's really gonna move the hair on a low length, okay? I, soft brushing is cool if you wanna develop definition, but a hard brush, a firm, medium brush is gonna, is gonna pull them forks out, it's gonna move that hair, but you gotta be careful that you don't damage your scalp, okay? So don't go in with a fresh cut with a hard brush and dig it into your scalp, okay? That's just crazy, okay? Whoa, slow down, okay? Get you a firm brush and just let it glide against your scalp going through the hair, all right? I guarantee you, you're gonna make progress like that. A lot of people gonna tell you, you know, you only wanna use a hard brush on a long wolf and when your hair is long and all this stuff. Look, man, use a firm brush on a low haircut. It's gonna move them hairs. It's gonna make you progress faster. So that's what we doing today, man. I don't know what number this brush is, but it's a hard brush, firm, and we gonna go in with that brush. And we gonna talk our stuff a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, it's going on three years that I got in the wave game. So October will be three years that I first joined the wave game. And I joined through the Facebook pages, all right? If you don't know, on Facebook, they have wave groups, okay? Some of the groups of which have tens to 15,000s of members, all right? Is everybody active out of them 15,000? Of course not. But you know you have your regular 50. 500 to a thousand people that's usually active on a regular basis, all right? So on these pages, man, that's where a lot of these great YouTubers that y'all see out here have gotten their start. You know what I'm saying? Your Sir Cruises, your 360 Jeezys, your RG3s, and Trap Waves, and, and so on and so on. Myself. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, on these, on these pages, man, it gives you a chance to showcase your waves, you post pictures of your waves, you can ask help from people, you know what I'm saying, show your progress and people can draw you diagrams, show you how to fix it, you can go live so they can see you brushing, uh, how you how you brush your angles, what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, you feel me? Now, they also have these, these uh, titles that you can win on these different pages, you know, people who follow me already, they know I currently hold the most wave titles in the world, all right? in the world, all right? I got 11 of them, all right? It's people slowly trying to catch up, probably got seven, eight, nine, what have you, but right now, I'm the GOAT when it comes to them wave titles, all right? I'm just gonna say that because I got the most. That's the only thing I can really brag about being the GOAT is with them titles, all right? Anyway, when you're trying to get these titles, you got a campaign for them, right? It's just like running for president. You want to campaign, you want to get people to vote for you, 
Uh, you want to drop dope tips on your posts. You want to help people in the comments on their posts. You want to you want to be as active as possible. So then, when, at the end of the month or at the end of the season, when it's time to vote, they'll vote for you. Sometimes these titles you have to battle another waiver with your waves. You know, a four four pick collage left, right, top crown. Now they're doing five pick collages with the back waves too. So it's it's, it's a little different. Sometimes you just gotta campaign and it, and it turns into a popularity vote but the titles that you have to win with your waves they hold a little bit more weight i believe you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day it's, it's all it's all about the waves you know what i'm saying if, if your waves not hitting on nothing then who are you to be the king the wave king the wave pharaoh or any other title out there wave queen you know what i'm saying it's all type of titles out there you know what i'm saying but on these pages, man, a lot of people, a lot of y'all follow me, y'all from Instagram, y'all don't know about Facebook or vice versa. It's different, okay? It's different. So the people on Facebook, they are cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real. They, it, You can't, you cannot shortchange nobody on Facebook. They're gonna call you out on it. All right? You either gotta be top notch or at least working on it before you can really talk your stuff or before you can really make some money in the game, all right? Whereas when you go to Instagram, you can you can have halfway decent waves, you know what I'm saying? You can have an average pattern and you can get you an ambassadorship from one of these companies out here. They'll pay you money or give you free product or whatever to rep their brand pretty easily on Instagram. So I always say Instagram is what a is what a real money is at. Alright. That's that's the difference between the Facebook groups and Instagram. You get on Instagram, you're gonna get you're gonna get you some money if you put forth the effort. As far as Facebook, that's where you're gonna get your name known at. You know what I'm saying? You wanna really go through the trenches and build your name up. It's it's best to do it on Facebook. You feel me? So as far as being an ambassador for these different companies and stuff, what do they like to look for? They they, they want to look for activity. They want your activity to be up. Of course, they want you to have nice and halfway decent waves. They want you to know how to. <clears throat> they want you to know how to uh, look at products and be able to review them correctly. You know, a lot of these BOBs, you know, that's black owned businesses. In case you didn't know, they don't want just anybody to rep their brand. They want somebody that really knows the products can give them feedback on what's good about it what's bad about it as opposed to some of the companies that's on instagram a lot of them let's be real a lot of them companies their product is trash okay it's trash and anybody will rep it for some money all right so it's i'm not knocking nobody for doing that get your money you feel me get your money I ain't never gonna count the next man or woman's pockets if they getting some money. But at the end of the day, when you do that on Facebook, you're gonna have people saying something about it, right? Some people may call them haters. Some people may just say they speaking the speaking the truth. They speaking facts. You promoting a bullshit product. And it may not be all natural. It may do harm to your hair or whatever. And you all you only in it for a check, all right? So you gotta you gotta understand that's gonna come with the territory. Don't worry about that. Like I said, get your money. All right. Don't let nobody stop you from getting your money. All right. It's always gonna be haters. It's always gonna pe be people uh, making jokes about you. They may not like the way you look. They may say you fat, you skinny, your waves is trash, your your content that you're putting out is terrible. It don't matter. All. Publicity is good publicity. If they talking bad about you, that means they're talking about you. Then that's all you want. You want comments, you want likes, you want shares, you want activity on all across your social media. And that's the key, man. That's the key to getting some money out of these waves. Now, Facebook, to me, is is that's where the fun is at. You have fun over there. And a lot of people, it's a lot of people that don't like it. Because they say, you know, all we do is play and joke and, and make memes of people and stuff like that. But you got to understand, a Facebook page is just like a barbershop. You go in a barbershop, are you just talking about your haircut? No. You go in a barbershop, you're talking about the sports, who's in the championship, who's in the playoffs. 
something funny might happen in there. Y'all talking about that. You talk about just about anything, right? That's how the Facebook web pages is. You can't do that on Instagram, right? Because obviously, you can't just post anything you want and, and tag people in it and all this stuff. You know what I mean? You can, but it's it's not the same. Like, I can literally put a post up on Facebook and two weeks ago by and I go back and comment and I bump it to the top of the page. You can't bump your post on Instagram. You know, it's only going to give you a notification to the people who originally commented on it. So you literally got posts from five and six years ago on these Facebook groups that was funny that did 400 comments or whatever. And I can go and comment on it and bump it right up. And here we go. We got 400 more comments for all the new people who didn't see it the first time. So to me, Facebook is definitely more fun. Instagram is more business-like, okay? You got people on Facebook. I mean, you got people on Instagram that's trying to really get their money. They they being endorsed by these different companies, whether it be clothing, whether it be hair products, brush companies, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's where you get your money at. When you see people putting ads out for different products and stuff or showing off what they got, nine times out of 10, if they got a decent following, on Instagram, and I say 5,000 uh, followers or more, that's pretty. That's a pretty good following. They, they might be getting a little piece of change for that. You know what I'm saying? And the more likes they get, the more follows they get, the more they should be charging more for their content. You know what I'm saying? They might come out the gate, okay, I got 5,000 followers on, on, Facebook, uh, on Instagram. I want to charge $25 to post something for this company. Company may agree to it, right? Now, as your page grows and you get 15 to 20,000, your prices got to go up. You know, I know a lot of y'all see these different people that have a big following and they be like, well, a hundred dollars for uh, a post and a share and story like, and y'all be like, oh, he's ch- he raping the game. He charges this much and that. No, it's not free. You got to pay for publicity, man. It's not free. You basically paying for an ad for for thousands of people to see you and and a good percentage of them actually are gonna follow you off of that. So you gotta take that in consideration. You gotta you gotta pay what you want to get out of it. Hold on, man. I'm working on this this crown, man. Y'all got me y'all got me off track. I've been a messed up my crown. You know, you know the session get real good when you get quiet. You know, you got you got to get to work. You got to get to work. But yeah, the, the pattern coming along nice, man. I I don't have no complaints. You know, I got a few forks flow issue on the top still, but you know, I think it's coming along well. Now, like you know, y'all been following me. I scalped last July. Uh, I didn't have no hair to brush until like the middle of uh, September, I want to say. So we basically on a year of brushing this pattern. So. We basically just hit the anniversary of brushing this pattern. So I think for a year, pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? Pretty decent for only a year. And it's a lot of y'all out there that I done passed up, man. Y'all slacking and y'all brushing. Y'all, I, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. 15, 20 minutes a day, brushing proper angles will get you a dope pattern. Right? There's no reason why i only been brushing for a year and I have passed up a lot of people in the wave game. Shame on you. Shame on you. But that's neither here nor there, man. Pick up a brush brush with me, man. This is a perfect video for you. You can pick up a brush, vibe out to whatever music I got playing, and get you a session in, man. And if y'all not on the Facebook pages and you want to get in them, I'm going to drop the names of them right here. Waves Are Life. Brush Connections, Elite Spins, all right? That's the three biggest pages. Get on them pages first, and there's other pages that are almost as good or just as good also. But get on those three main pages first, and then branch out to the rest of them, all right? That's if you want to get your name known, and if you want to get some real knowledge, all right? It's a lot of people on Instagram that do have a lot of knowledge, but most of the people are just posting pictures of their hair and they showing the product that they're uh, using with their promo code. I do it. 
You know what I'm saying? Ain't no shame in my game. I do it too. But if people ask me questions in the inbox, I'm not going to send you off. I get to it when I can. And I give you the best answer that I can think of or that I got from somebody else. All right. But on Facebook, it's a different type of monster. You got you got unlimited information 24 hours a day. You got a search bar at the top of each group. You can type in, okay, let me type in 360 waves and whatever's gonna pop up. How do I break a fork? Whatever's gonna pop up that people have posted in the past. It's all in the search bar. So it's like Google. Google for waves on the wave page. That search bar is nasty, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So yeah, man. If y'all try to join them pages, man, I think the only thing that they ask is that you answer all the questions. It's usually like three or four questions to get in just so they don't they don't think you like a scammer or, or a robot or whatever. So answer all four questions. Get up in there, look around, post your waves, ask for help. Don't come in there. You know, you got three good waves and you like, yeah, I'm killing this my pattern. They're going to clown you. Matter of fact, they're going to drag you. All right? Facebook, no holds bar. All right? If you come in there cocky, somebody's going to bring you a chair until you have a seat. All right? That's just how it is. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's people in there, they, they clown, they cocky or whatever. But when they get dragged, it's sink or swim. You either get humble or you don't. But yeah, man, this this man, it's a quick little session. Quick little session with y'all, just talking with y'all, vibing out with you. You know what I'm saying? I got a uh, I'm about to hit 15 follower, 15,000 followers on Instagram, so it'll be a giveaway for that soon. It'll also be a giveaway on YouTube pretty soon. So you got two two big giveaways coming up soon. So make sure you hit that notification bell. So you don't miss out on nothing. You know, I know y'all like free shit, man. Everybody like getting something free, right? So, yeah, man. Stay tuned, man. I'm going to finish up this little session I got going on. Rag up. And I'm going to catch y'all next time.